take a look here at a couple of these. Okay, now when you set up to the golf ball, I want your left eye or left ear over it. It's a little, okay. little too far over the top of the ball. You gotta okay. get your right ear and right eye, excuse me, your left ear or your left eye a little bit more back. Okay, okay, now I like the ball position, so it's not that the ball's too far back. Just be careful you don't get too far. over top of the ball. Just, okay. and, I, and, and for now, it's slight. Yeah. Ever there, oh, okay. Erase what I said. Okay, you weren't quite set up. There you go. <laughs> now. So I like this position, okay. but let's make sure that our face is pointing a little bit more to the ball. Okay. Okay. So you got your face kind of pointing more over in here. Okay. Okay. And what that does is kind of it's kind of a pre-cocking of your head, but it, it can it can lead to an illusion of your line. Yeah, that's well, yeah, it can. But you are behind, so yeah. you're good here. I like where your left eye, left ear is. Everything looks good here. Pivot up to the top. Staying behind. Very good. Very, very good. Excellent. Now, I like this impact a lot. Boy, is that different. Okay, if you look at yeah, your other stuff, it used to be more scooped a little bit there. This is much better. Nice flat left wrist. I think that's excellent. No warm up, man. It's excellent. Rotate. Okay, so we want to get that left arm yeah, to feel like it. It rolls and yeah. turns so the elbow comes down. Yeah. We don't want to feel like it bows upwards, okay, because that really affects the release pattern yeah. of where the club tries to go. That one was a, a bow thing. She didn't want yellow today. I, I missed the call. <laughs> I hear you. Everybody's in it today. I sure like this position. See how the right arm comes more yeah. under? This is excellent. Very good positioning here. Okay, backswing is, is, is not bad. This impact's outstanding. Let's swivel over. Much better on the release pattern there, so I can see some of that glove. Right? Got a little view of that left, those last three knuckles. As you're, you know, because that's, that's a critical aspect of turning and rolling. Like that action right there for a man. Excellent. I just need to keep that. So, so you kind of you can see how you know one swing you got the release, one yeah. swing we don't. You know, yeah. it's just it, it's not automatic. So, meaning that every time you swing that club, it should just swivel over there. Yeah. It just should just swivel over there. So, we're not quite getting the release patterns the way we want to get them. Okay. okay? One time it's there, the next time it's not. Left glove up on top. Yeah glove underneath, okay? So I would tell students you gotta get you gotta get it to where that arm I feel like I, the reason why I, maybe I feel like I'm gonna hook it more. Well there's no question if it's, it might feel that. I'm not asking you to feel like you roll it. Yeah. I'm just asking you to not feel like you deny it. Okay. Okay, it's gotta be able to square an impact. Okay. Post impact it you know, the ball's gone. Yeah. But post impact you've got to be able because that's the proper hinge action. Yeah. If you get tight and come in more like this at yeah. times, we're gonna blow that ball away right sometimes. And that's usually gonna show itself when you get a little more under pressure and then you tighten and lock into that impact, you might block push some balls to the right. Okay, so that, that's what it does. I mean it, it, it has it has that ability to do that. Now if that's what you're doing or not, I don't know. So, you know, when you go through this shot, you 
you know, I'm just looking for a release pattern that looks a little more conventional. Yeah. So he strikes, you can see how the left forearm and wrist rotate, right? That, I mean, just, it's a very different action, right? Now, now this doesn't cause hooking as long as you're approaching the ball square, striking the ball, and then rolling through it. I'm good at impact, it's just the follow through, no? Well, your impact is excellent right here. Yeah. It's impact, okay? Yeah. And that's bottom line, that's good. But as you continue to release the club, I would say we got to learn to let the swivel happen in a more uniform way. But this okay. is really good. Let's take a good look at your of your of your down the line view so we can understand what's going on here with geometry. Okay, so I would tell you this club is way too inside. Way too inside. Okay, so I, ideally we want to go and write up this plane. And the reason is because when you're in this position, now your hands are getting too deep. Your hands and arms are way too far behind you, and the angle of the shaft is very, very off plane. What's, what's that going to cause? Well, it, just inconsistency. You'll, you'll hit left, right, right, left, and, and just lots of variations, okay? okay? So the more the club goes up the plane, the easier it is to keep it on plane. The, okay. the more it's off plane, then you got to reseek and find your plane. And that's usually... So when somebody goes too flat and inside, then they usually lift and cross over too much. But to be honest, you really bring it back down perfectly right on your right forearm. Let's see what you do here. Release. So, and again, those arms look like they're trying to really go down the line. See how that club's coming out your left shoulder? Is that? It's good. very good. That's good. Not bad there. So, I think one of the things we could do here today is let's start off today by trying to get this backswing a little more under check here, Ferdinand. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put you on this Megsa. We're gonna put the insider pad here, so it takes you inside. But I'm also gonna put a cone right here. Okay. So what what you'll notice is that man, I got a very small opening to take this club up and back on. Okay. So we're just gonna work on some backswing drills to get that club to go up that plane a little better. Okay. And let's see what what that what that starts to do for us. Okay.